Today we're going to have so much fun with Illustrator. We're going to start with making borders. So let's make a rectangle like this. And I'm going to take a, an ellipse and make a centered circle in the corner of this rectangle. And I'm holding down my Shift and my Alt key to do this. OK. All right, now I'm going to change the color of that so you can see it better. And I'm going to drag this to the other side. Hold down my Shift key so it stays straight. And press my Alt key to make a copy. And I will do the same on all four of these corners. OK, so now I have five objects here. So I'll take my selection tool, my black selection tool, and marquee over these five objects to select them. And if you don't have your Pathfinder uh, panel open, Go to Window and Pathfinder and do that. Okay. Oops, deselected accidentally. Okay, I selected again. And I'm going to go to the minus fronts here. Okay, and there we go. You can see it cut out beautiful little shapes out of my rectangle. So with this object selected, I'm going to go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. And I'm going to offset this four points. And I'll change the color of that so you can see it. All right, there we go. So you see, I have an identical object that is behind my original object that is offset exactly four points all around. I'm going to Control z to get this back. And what I'd like you to notice is that this gives the illusion of having a four-point stroke on the top object. And when you're making logos, this is definitely a technique you should use on your type if you are going to put um, a stroke on it. Offset. Create um, objects out of your um, type and then offset it to give the appearance of having a stroke. OK, back to our lesson here. Control-0 to get our image back up again. And we're going to do that one more time. We'll go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. This time I'm going to do it 10 points, 10 PT. OK. And I'll change the color to green on that. And you can see I have quite a lovely border. Now, you can make different types of object, you different objects. For example, you know, you could put ovals here like that. And combine them. Oops, I didn't hold down my Alt key long enough. There we go. Okay. Why is it? Oh, I keep missing the Alt key. I've got it down on. I'm looking at the screen and not at what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. I mean, you can make shapes like this, for example, and combine them here 
you know, select them and unite them and make something like that. So I'd like you to pause this video now and go ahead and make your own border that's offset. Okay? All right, now the next thing we're going to do is do a rounded rectangle. So I'll take a rounded rectangle here. And we're going to open our brush panel. Here we go. It's our brush panel. And I have to tell you, I was a little busy earlier testing these out. And I'm going to take off my fill here on, on this and bring forward my stroke and just show you what some of these look like. Well, you might say, how did you get all these different choices? Well, you can come here to this little rectangle up here with the down arrow and get your options. And go to the brush library and you can choose so many of these. For example, um, here under, you can go to borders and you can have all kinds of borders. I went to geometric borders, novelty borders. Let's try novelty. Oh, isn't that cool? Um, I could do something like this. Let's go here and, and see. Oh, look at that. All those airplanes. And look at this. All those bugs. So, you see, you can go through the library and make different borders. So what I'd like you to do now is to open some of these libraries, brush libraries, and practice on them and, and see what you like. Explore. So I'm going to say goodbye now. And do well.